When I leave for a tour, of course, there are some essential things that I need to bring with me. Uh, they're quite obvious, you know, the, the costume for the concert, uh, a few different shirts uh, to make sure, because sometimes in between concerts, there's not enough time to dry clean. So you need a few uh, sets. I need also my scores uh, for the music that we play this week. Um, this one is pretty special, Debussy La Mer, because there are many versions and many uh, different editions of uh, La Mer. And this one is from Breitkopf, and actually it's much clearer than the usual Durand edition. So it was very helpful during the rehearsals to take my information of this score and share it with the members of the orchestra. Uh, and we could then have infinite details in it. Uh, first, I want to show you that um, in the first page, I always write in my scores uh, the year and the orchestra I did the piece. So this score dates from 2008, the first time I did it in Wien uh, with the Wiener Symphonica, remember? Then we have London Philharmonic, Rotterdam, Bayerische Rundfunk, Rotterdam again. Montréal, Berlin Philharmonic, the Met. So it's all listed, I like to have this. And then I have my markings a little bit around um, the score because this comes from the past performances and it's precisions that I want to make. Um, but this time there were some specificities for the Berlin Philharmonic tour. For example, uh, on this page, there's the famous passage with the cellos, where they are divided in four different parts. And there's a little note at the bottom of the page that says that the first two bars, there should only be eight celli playing. And from the third bar, there should be 16 cellos playing. Now we don't have 16 cellos. We actually have 10 cellos playing. So what we did actually is to have, to start with eight and then go to 10. The difference is not so big, but I had to take note of it on my page so that we try to get it more accurate to the, the thought that Debussy had when he wrote this passage. And uh, this becomes something very personal as a score because it has all my indications of what I want to bring in the music. And when this one is not too much written in, but when it becomes too many markings of me, I like to keep it but to buy a new one, a fresh one, just to see the page without my markings. I'm so much looking forward to keep and doing these concerts during the tour with this piece that I love uh, more than anything, Debussy La Mer.